This is our cast in steel competition and I am absolutely thrilled with how successful it's been. The cast in steel competition has grown every year and it's just thrilling to see the young people get so excited. The primary goal of this competition is really to touch the hearts of young people who've never realized that going into manufacturing and into making castings or forgings could be a thrilling, worthwhile, purposeful, meaningful activity within a community of people who care about them. Because we challenge them to make something without specifying how to make it, uh, what the design is, the students have to do the homework. We ended up with a Halligan bar as a competition, and I didn't know anything about the Halligan bar. So I got online and found somebody who'd written a history about it down in Alabama, and they identified Andrew Pristich, who's our judge, because he designs the equipment to train people how to use a Halligan bar. My name is Andrew Pristak. I am a acting sergeant with the City of Spartanburg Fire Department in South Carolina. I'm lucky enough to, to be here for Cast and Steel 2024. The students have uh, made Halligan bars, and that's what I do. I, I design Halligan bars, and I get to use them on a regular basis at my full-time job. So a Halligan bar is primarily a, a prying tool. Three ends, you have a set of forks on one side, so two tines. You have an adze, a right angle prying tool, and then a pick, which is just a spike that sticks off the side. We've been really fortunate in the judges we have. We've had Ben Habit forever, and because Ben was on Force and Fire, we were able to get David Baker. David Baker was a judge last year. He has a deep well of experience and really understands knife making and props, and so we're excited to have him continuing with us. Philip, of course, is continuing with us. We continue to have John Corey, who's been a judge for the last couple of years, and Jack Lilly, because they know the casting industry and they're enthusiastic about working with young people. So I flew in last night so that I could be here for this competition. My role in this competition is to be a judge. I'm judging on the form and the shape and the, the engineering uh, aspects of these different Halligan bars, but I'm also gonna be testing some. The point of the competition isn't really the, the win or loss thing, don't get me wrong. Everybody's excited to win or lose, but it's really about designing and manipulating a material to create a tool. It's an exciting thing to watch and it's really fun to be part of it. Over the years, I've seen schools grow greatly in how they um, work within the program, making better castings. They're going to perform better, and I couldn't be more excited to be a judge. There's a lot of Halligan bars on display in the other room that's behind me right now. There's some of them just look amazing, like their production quality right out of the factory. A uh, firefighter would grab it and go. Like, there are no two that are the same in, in there. There's no two that look identical or way the same or, or even close. The Halligan Bar has so many different aspects. The idea is to challenge the students to figure out, one, how to design it, two, how to make it within the, the context of the forging or casting process, and then to see if, it, if what they created is going to hold up to real-world testing. It's important that we get young people on that track towards manufacturing, whether it's through sciences, art, design, engineering, all of those things kind of lead to what we're looking to, to recruit, basically. So Cast and Steel is a amazing competition and getting students to just walk all the way through a project from talking to the customer and understanding what it is the customer wants to seeing that product uh, in the end. That whole entire process is a huge part of understanding the industry. Coming into this competition, everyone's super excited. Everyone's glad to be here. Everyone's super excited to see what everybody else did. It's super apparent after doing this project that it's not necessarily what you know how to do, but it's who you know in this industry. If you don't know something, someone else definitely does, and they're definitely willing to help you and work with you to figure out your problem, and that's what engineering is all about. After this project, I'm definitely feeling supercharged and ready to enter this industry. The cast and steel competition was really about networking. My teammates were able to reach out to Foundry Industries, and I was able to reach out to Magma representatives, and it really helped us um, putting the entire project together.
We're going to do some fun testing. These Halligan bars are going to be put through the paces by a, an actual firefighter who knows what they're capable of. One of the tests we're doing, we have a about five foot long apparatus that puts the Halligan bar in between two pieces of C-channel that hooks it to a come along with a strain gauge on it. We're breaking quarter inch grade five bolts, puts about 500 pounds of stress on the forks. In addition to that, we've got a forcible entry door. I own a company that makes them. So it is a resettable door so we can continually break the locks on them. So the students, I believe, are forcing outward swinging and then the judges will be forcing an, an inward swinging door. Really just to test the design uh, geometries and because there's fairly specific geometry to be able to get in. So it'll be interesting to see some of the ones that are a little more outside the box, how they hold up. There are so many different things that go into the, the winning of, of this competition. To be the full-on winner of this competition, you need to have a good report that explains what you're doing and why. You need to have a good uh, video that, that shows what you did and, and, and why. Uh, then you also need to have something that looks good and, at the end of the day, something that performs well. It's just difficult to imagine that something that started out with an ordinary idea for a few students has grown into such a magnificent thing. And they're really the future of our industry and of manufacturing. So I'm just thrilled that we have so many young people who are so thrilled to be involved in our competition and look forward to their leadership in the future. It was very exciting to participate in this competition. It was so great doing um, a lot of work with different industry partners and with um, peers, and then seeing them again at these competitions. Um, I'm very excited to compete again next year. No matter what you're doing, if you're an engineer on the floor, if you're a product engineer, if you're an estimator working with customers, all those aspects are within cast and steel and you have to do every part of that. So it really gives you an overall view of the entire industry and an understanding of what goes into making a casting.